Hello Odd Ones, thank you for clicking into the channel. My name is Solom, and this is The Medium. Without further ado, let's get into it and find out more about this game. I'm excited. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> that day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. Find I just had to find clip. his special tie clip. The special tie clip. Okay. Woo! Alright. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh. <laughs> Walking around in a fixed perspective is not fun. Alright, so I'm gonna try to be quiet through most of the cinematic portions, because I am immensely interested in the story, and if I am talking throughout the cinematic parts, I am most likely going to miss the story. But anyhow, let's get into it. Um, read. October, Memorial, Memorial, the Holy Garden, angel, Angels, blah, blah, blah. Funeral at 10 o'clock, Ultrasound. Ultrasound? Our Lady of the Rosary, Biopsy, Send Package to Marion. Neurologist Visit, Funeral at 1230, Ultrasound. Neurosurgeon visit, funeral at 9, funeral at 11, pick up Marianne from train station, All Saints Day, All Saints Day surgery. Who's getting all these ultrasounds? Is it us? I don't know. Alright. See what else we can find, learn more about 
our medium here. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you too. Oh, uh, can we pet the cat? Let's go find the cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. I can't pet the cat. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Okay. I really can't pet the cat. They put a perfectly good, pettable cat here, and I can't pet it. <sighs> I used to think days. I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Yeah, you're weird, all right. Not petting a it's cat. Funny. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Don't taunt the cat. It's just a cat. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Good for Jack. Is there anything else here? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Hmm. Okay. Let's do this the other way. The other way? Press and hold left control to activate insight. Oh, interesting. Okay. There you are. Jack's tie clip. Okay, cool. Nothing super special about that. See a combine button too. Have fun playing with that later. Okay, anything else to look at here? I don't think so. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Come on, kitty. Time Come to on. say goodbye. All right, follow me, cat. If you want to be petted, follow me. I'm sure we'll get an opportunity someday. Where does this go? Is this downstairs? No. All right, more exploring. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah, this is a pretty cool room. I love how yeah. the lights... I used to have a thing for them. Ugh. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Is this your collection or Jack's? I mean, it's pretty impressive. But not, not exactly my... favorite collector's items. Kids from the orphanage. Oh. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Okay. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Okay, so you have a heart, just not for cats. Yeah, you still have some growing up to do. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. All right, age three years old, female, initial diagnosis, second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area, yikes. Suspected inhalation injury. Care management and stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. Yikes, you had a rough childhood, huh? I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. All right, let's read this really quick. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you attend the next parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understood it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we sure you're... you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. 
Given that this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Principal of Primary School Number 7, Zofia Kanya. Kanya. Probably horribly mispronounced that. I'm sorry, Zofia. Alright, nothing else exciting here. Let's move on. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this camera, fixed camera angle. I think I'm getting it. What's in here? Oh, maybe I need to feed the cat. You have to earn the right to pet the cat. Okay. Looks nourishing. Absolutely. Piano home key, tie clip. All right, so I need a can opener. Is there one around, one around, one around? Over here? Nope. What's this? Symbolic funeral of the Sirsa Mine. Miners from the Sirsa Mine came to work today as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxe, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, says member of the Sirsa Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the visual coal company, they add. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept that the Sirsa Mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleague continued to protest outside of the company headquarters in Tiki building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day, they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Earlier today, U.S. Bill President Bill Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The president commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasized the fact that this country's leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Bill Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe have now been furthered, has now been furthered by another key achievement the induction of Poland, Hungary, and Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. That was a lot. All right. Where's that can opener? That's what's important here. Oh, do I have to look for it with my sight? Um... No, that doesn't seem to be helping. Maybe it's in here? I can't believe it's all still here. Huh. Oh, Jack. Can opener? Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Okay. Cool. Ah, okay, how to develop photos. Illuminate the photo for five seconds. Dip in the multi-grade for three seconds. Dip and stop for three seconds. Dip and fixer for three seconds. Are these labeled or am I gonna have to make a guess here? All right, so illuminate for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Ding, ding. All right. Oh, I missed my window. Now it's overexposed. What? Okay, fine. We'll try again. Perfect. Okay. You used the clicks. All right. So, does that say what it is? Hmm. Can I assume that they're in order? All right. Oops. What'd I do? All right. Ugh. Oh, wrong fluid. I need uh. to apply it in the right order. All right. For these puzzles I have a hard time with, I may just skip through. So prepare for either fast forward or jump cuts. All right, 
Next one. One, two, three. Oh, we're getting somewhere. One, two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. All right, it's fine. Let's see. No can opener. Right? No can opener? Okay. Need to find the can opener. It's our most important task. Do I just put it in? Here you go. What's your face? Oh, okay. Glad to see you're still kicking around. Can I pet the cat now? No. This game. Okay. What's here? Bathroom? Cool, cool. Interesting. Okay, what is it? 1984. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Just a random book? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Keep going. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Oh, your powers. Hmm. Hey, why'd you turn like that? Come on. Try this door? No? Okay. Down the stairs we go. Do 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 do. This door? No. Okay. Jack taught me to accept my condition. And bike? Of all my no. foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift. And not a curse. Motorcycle. You're a motorcycle girl, aren't you? Nope. Okay. The last goodbye funeral home. Oh, right, right, right. We gotta put the tie clip on him. We're not leaving just yet. What's this? The last goodbye funeral home. So this door? Okay. In we go. Are we going to see ghosties Jack's now? in the prep room. The prep room. Okay. Okay. Is this it? This is very nice prep room. This isn't the prep room. Uh, stop doing that. Aw. Record of funeral, name of deceased, Adam Nowak, family contact, phone number, mail, date of birth, university student, married, date of death, 1999, car accident, embalming, dressing body, flowers. Jack, Mrs. Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Well, guess I'm doing it. Here it is. Ah. I didn't even know I need it. That's what makes me a good medium. Well, this is nice. Yeah, if I want to die, I want to come here. Be in one of those vases, it'll be great. Alright, this door? No. This door that I'm looking at? Yes. Open sesame! Ah, the prep room. How wonderful. I've never felt more prepped. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Hmm. Okay. We can get you ready for it. Let's see. 
let's let, let's just get out on, on with it, all right? This is the prep room, all right? We're going to prep you up. You ready? You got this, Marianne. You're the best embalmer in the world. You're the best funeral home director in the world. You talk to the dead. You can do anything. Talk to them. Talk to them right now. Oh. Hey, Jack. Hey, see? There you go. You can do it. Hi, would you like your tie clip? I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Oh, well, I was just going to put it on his collar. Okay, where's the tie? Where'd you put your tie? Is it over here? It is over here. Did you... Let's combine this. Fantastic. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Absolutely. So, what kind of knot do you want? The only one I know is the Windsor. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... Burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? people read the signs that's closed <gasps> uh -oh. Jack is that you check upstairs Ja Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We're fine. Where do we go? This way. Why is it so dark? Why don't I have a flashlight? Hey! Hey, hey, don't break stuff in there, silly ghost. Is that tree always what there? What the hell? Whoa. Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened, as it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. No. It's not important. You... You are crying. Why is it so cold in here? Joe, <laughs> where is 
Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke, I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Okay, so now we're getting into the credits. So as you saw a little bit there, this we got to the more interesting part of this game, which is that how it's been described is that there's two games running at once, two realities going on. One is the real world or the physical world, and the other one is kind of like the spirit world. And something unique to our character that she's able to see because she is the medium. And as we saw here, she was able to help her father pass on, or father figure. I also
also currently noticed too that my graphics seem to kind of like cut out down there. Like it, they, they got really grainy really quickly, and I'm gonna see if I can adjust that because usually for, for almost any game, my computer like purrs like like you know like a like a cat that we couldn't pet. And the fans are whirling like crazy and. It's usually very loud, but now it, it, it's been absolutely silent. So I'm wondering if I have the graphics at a good setting for this. So in the next video, I'll see if I can improve those. But for now, we'll continue as is for a little bit longer. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. You were like the I motorcycle rider, I knew it! <laughs> Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Yeah, for a resort, it's really run down. Anyways, I think I'm going to end this one here. And we'll pick it up again really soon. So thank you everyone for clicking into the video. I'm really enjoying this game so far. And I can't wait to see what happens next. So stay tuned for the next one. Goodbye.